Hello, everybody. Myself Prasanth Mukhopadhyay, faculty member, Electrical Engineering Department, Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. In our last class of uh, DC to DC converter or chopper, so we have uh, discussed about the control strategies of uh, chopper, and uh, then we have uh, discussed the uh, operations uh, waveforms of uh, step down chopper. So uh, once again I am uh, repeating in the control strategy we have uh, say discussed about the different methods of uh, uh, controlling uh, chopper operation that is uh, mainly two control uh, methodology we have discussed uh, one is uh, time ratio control and another one is the current limit control and uh, lastly we have uh, discussed uh, um, step down chopper so basically how it operates uh, what will be its uh, output voltage and current waveforms and not only that uh, uh, we have uh, discussed the step down chopper with uh, resistive load, with inductive load, and uh, inductive load, and etc. So, and uh, we have seen uh, the current, uh, in case of inductive load, it is uh, continuous in nature, uh, particularly, and we have basically seen that the output voltage uh, is uh, uh, reduced uh, than the input voltage, and that's why it, uh, it, its name was uh, step down chopper. Today, we will uh, start a um, new uh, discussions on new ch uh, chopper circuit uh, that is also a um, uh, converter circuit, uh, DC to DC converter circuit or chopper circuit. So that is a step up uh, chopper or a boost uh, converters. So as you know, in the last class we have uh, told you uh, that uh, say uh, step down chopper is uh, basically a back. Uh, uh, converter so and the, uh, it, and in, in in step up chopper so it is uh, called boost converter basically a step up chopper uh, just uh, uh, enhance or increase the output voltage level uh, than uh, the input uh, DC voltage level so that's why it is called boost uh, converter so uh, it is used to basically used to increase the input voltage level of its output side so and it circuit diagram and waveforms are shown here. Uh, this is the circuit diagram. This is the chopper. So it is connected in parallel with uh, across the load, so that uh, uh, it can um, operate uh, um, as a as a as a step up um, chopper. And its waveforms also uh, given here. Uh, this is the output voltage, uh, and this is the source uh, current. This is output current uh, level. Okay. So now uh, we'll uh, uh, discuss uh, how uh, this uh, step up chopper operates. Now, if we consider the, when the chopper is on, so what will happen? Uh, this chopper is on. So what uh, what we are finding here? So, so this load will be bypassed since it is uh, short circuiting uh, this load. So no current will flow. Okay. So as a result, uh, output uh, voltage will be zero. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, during on conditions, this uh, inductor or choke uh, will be energized and it will be uh, storing energy. Okay. So, uh, as a result, hence output uh, voltage during turn on is uh, zero, and uh, during this period, the inductor gets charged uh, or uh, say energized. So, uh, source voltage so will be the inductor voltage. So, this V is equal to VL. Okay. So if you write, so what is BL? BL is nothing but L di dt, and uh, di means uh, rate of change of uh, the current. So from zero to so it is peak to uh, uh, peak uh, value, minimum to maximum, and uh, dt is the turn on time. So delta i by uh, turn on. So we can write. So it will be equal to Vs by L. So this peak to peak uh, current value will be how much? So Vs by L into uh, turn on. So uh, this is uh, during the turn on uh, uh, the uh, equations of uh, the peak to peak current uh, uh, in, in, in step up chopper. And uh, so uh, actually uh, this is uh, the peak to peak inductor current and when chopper is off, so if chopper is off, what will happen? Let's see the, uh, it is off. What will happen? So it will happen, this inductor will, uh, the no longer current will flow in this path because this path is uh, broken. 
So uh, inductor was uh, fully charged. Now it will change uh, when you, during charging. This was the positive polarity. This was the negative polarity. Now when this is uh, uh, no voltage, uh, no current is flowing. So that means it will change the polarity and it will allow the uh, current to flow through this diode and the load uh, to complete the path. So as a result, the current will be dissipated uh, or uh, decreasing uh, to this uh, higher this load. Okay. So that is actually if we uh, uh, that is written here. So we will get uh, summation of uh, the uh, source voltage and the inductor voltage and the output voltage basically here. So VL and uh, uh, this equal to V0. Okay. This is equal to zero. So V uh, zero equal to V S plus V N, uh, and uh, inductor voltage as output voltage. So we can write uh, this equal to how much? Inductor voltage is the output voltage, isn't it? So we can put uh, V L equal to V uh, zero. So V L equal to V zero minus V S. Okay. Now what kind of what we are writing here? So actually. Uh, VL equal to VS. So put here. So L D I D T V zero equal to minus VS. So L D I D T should be equal to V zero minus uh, VS. So this will be equal to how much? Uh, L uh, delta I uh, turn off should be V zero minus VS. So delta I equal to V zero minus VS by L turn off. So if we equate this uh, equation three and four, what will we will get? So actually, this is the conditions. Okay, so V is equal to this plus this. Okay, at uh, uh, turned up conditions. Okay, so this voltage is equal to this plus this. Okay, so we can uh, write like this. Uh, it will be uh, from this we we'll get uh, peak to peak uh, in the current. Okay, inductor current delta I equal to. Uh, this so you equate three and four. So what we get? So we'll get actually B S by L turn on it should be equal to B zero minus B S by L turn on. So B S turn on plus turn on equal to B zero turn on. So output voltage is equal to T uh, turn on plus turn on is uh, T. So it is equal to uh, uh, T B S by turn on. So we can write. Mm, turn on equal to T minus turn on by T. So what can we write? So that actually this will be equal to V output will be this equal to one and turn by it is D DT cycle. So therefore average output voltage equal to V S by one minus D. And since the value of D is in between uh, zero to oh, one, uh, zero to one, so hence V uh, zero can be varied from uh, Uh, v s to infinity. Okay, so it can be varied. If it is one, it is infinity. If it is zero, it is v s. So output voltage can be uh, 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 from the source voltage to infinity. So output voltage is always greater than uh, the input voltage, and hence uh, it pushes up uh, or increases the uh, voltage level. So that's why it is called a step up or a boost uh, uh, converter. Okay. So once again, uh, I am repeating uh, this uh, operations uh, procedure so that uh, you can uh, and get uh, the, uh, say, uh, complete understanding of the uh, subject. Basically, uh, uh, C. Uh, uh, no, not that. Is. Yeah, so uh, step of uh, this is the step of chopper. So or uh, uh, boost converters. So it actually increases input voltage level uh, of its input side, uh, of its output side. Uh, so its uh, circuit diagram and waveforms are shown here. This is the circuit diagram of the step of chopper, and uh, this is its circuit diagram. So this is the output voltage, and this is output current. Okay, uh, this is actually uh, peak to peak uh, current. Okay, now uh, during uh, on, uh, actually this is on, so this is uh, short circuited by this chopper, so it will be V is equal to V L plus V is equal to V L. 
okay so b uh, is equal to 0 uh, so b is equal to bl so uh, bl equal to mb id that is equal to bl so mb di means uh, delta i and dt means uh, tau naught so uh, we can write uh, this delta i should be equal to uh, bs by l into tau naught so this is the equation of the uh, uh, delta i now uh, uh, it, when it is turned off travel is turned off so l inductor l discharges to the load so we can get a solution of both the source uh, and the inductor voltage and the output voltage so um, output equal to bs plus bl so bl equal to BA, b0 minus bs and uh, bl equal to l did is equal to b0 minus bs and l did equal to delta i by uh, turn off so we can get uh, delta i equal to b0 minus bs by l into turn off so if we equate uh, 3 and 4 uh, this is actually uh, the turn off uh, uh, conditions uh, circuit diagram. This is off, so it, this, this is case BS plus BL should be equal to this. Okay, so um, now if we equate this two, so we will uh, find this BS by L uh, turn on should be equal to B0 minus BS by L into turn off. So BS by uh, uh, actually uh, uh, turn on plus turn off equal to B0 turn off. Okay, if we uh, simplify it. So output will be equal to T uh, BS by turn off so it is equal to BS by uh, uh, T the chopping period uh, minus turn by T so equal to 1 by turn by T that is equal to D so that is equal to uh, uh, duty cycle ratio or duty cycle so actually we can find uh, the turn on period can be varied from 0 to T so as a result uh, D can be uh, since uh, D can be varied uh, from 0 to 1 Hence, uh, output voltage can vary from uh, Bs to infinity. So, uh, it is clear that output voltage is always greater than uh, the input voltage and hence it uh, boosts up or increases uh, the voltage level. So, uh, since it is it is increasing uh, the input uh, voltage level at the output side, so it is also called the boost converter as I told you. So, um, I think uh, you will, you will uh, understand uh, this discussions so uh, first of all you have to uh, say uh, understand the how the circuit uh, configuration is and what is how it is differ uh, from the previous one that is step down one and uh, that means you have to uh, say uh, note the positions of the chopper in the circuits yeah, it is in parallel with the uh, uh, load but in a step down chopper so it is not in uh, parallel so actually uh, in this chopper uh, circuit is connected in series actually it is connected in series okay so see okay what will be the uh, load conditions it is connected in series so it's uh, like a switch Okay, so it's like it. It's, it's definitely it's a switch, but it's connected. It to see the position of. So if you, uh, so it is it is in, in series with this. Okay, in series with this. Here, yeah. so actually you can't uh, say say it is in parallel. Okay, but it is in parallel in case of uh, step up uh, chopper. Okay, or boost chopper. Let us uh, uh, once again uh, follow the circuit. Yeah, see, it is parallel to the load. Clear. So, hope uh, you have uh, understood uh, the operation during on, during off of the uh, step uh, of chopper, and from this on and off operations you will find out the delta i that is peak to peak uh, current value and then uh, at uh, on conditions and off conditions this uh, delta i equate and uh, you will get the output voltage uh, the relation between output voltage and the input voltage and which shows the output voltage is always uh, varies from uh, source voltage to be infinity.
So that's why it is step. Now we'll uh, discuss an application of uh, step of chopper. So application of chopper, uh, step of chopper for uh, regenerative breaking of the DC motor. Uh, let's say uh, this is the circuit diagram of the uh, regenerative uh, breaking of the DC motor. So this is a separately excited uh, DC uh, sound motor actually and uh, uh, this is actually uh, basically this uh, EA this uh, uh, voltage across the, this uh, back unit or whatever be the case uh, it will be uh, act uh, as a source voltage okay and uh, rest of all the circuit diagram are same so uh, like a um, step of chopper see same so here it is instead of uh, vs we are uh, connecting this um, uh, dc uh, motor okay for its braking purpose regenerative braking so that means uh, this will operate uh, then in that case as a as a uh, step of chopper uh, since uh, the step up chopper principle uh, is used basically for regenerative uh, breaking so basically to stop this uh, instead of uh, say uh, taking power from the uh, uh, source so when the, uh, the power is supplied to the source so that will be uh, it will it's a regenerative uh, case so in that case uh, the uh, motor speed will be uh, uh, will try to rotate in the opposite direction and motor will uh, uh, come in stop uh, position. So uh, that's why uh, this step of chopper is being used for regenerative braking of DC motors. The armature uh, voltage actually this EA is uh, not vacuum, this is EA, this armature uh, is analogy uh, to the source voltage and the uh, output voltage uh, uh, GO. Uh, output is the DC source voltage. Uh, uh, using VS is uh, VS and V0 is the, uh, the DC source uh, voltage. Okay, so when the uh, inductor is uh, uh, and V0 is the DC source voltage, this is uh, VS and the chopper is on the, the inductor uh, on the inductor ends. Uh, uh, stores the energy and when it is off the inductors release the energy. So if uh, this uh, we have seen this A by 1 minus D exceeds uh, this V0 then uh, DC machine will work as a DC generator and uh, the armature current will flow in the direction of to the motoring uh, mode and as the uh, power now is flow flowing from uh, DC machine to the source uh, it will it will uh, cause uh, regenerative uh, breaking of the DC motor. So even uh, at decreasing motor speeds, uh, regenerative breaking can be provided as the motor armature EA is directly proportional to the field flux and uh, uh, motor speeds. So this is one applications of uh, the regenerative uh, regenerative breaking uh, for in, in case of uh, step of chopper. So now uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, about a uh, buck boost converter or step up step down uh, converter and sometimes uh, it is called the cup converter after the name of the inventor uh, of S car so oh, oh it is uh, don't get confused so buck boost converter step up and step down converter and use car converter are the same uh, converter so with the help of a uh, buck boost uh, converter we can increase or decrease the uh, input voltage level uh, at its uh, output site uh, as per our requirement. So, uh, circuit diagram of uh, the converter is shown here. So, this is actually the circuit diagram. Okay, this is the chopper, uh, step of speed on chopper. This is the inductor, this is the diode, and this is the load, and this is the source voltage. Now, how it operates? So, when chopper is on, uh, source voltage uh, will be applied across uh, uh, when chopper is on, this is on, what will happen? This voltage will be ac uh, applied across this VL. Why? Because uh, this is uh, reverse bias conditions, so current will not flow through this load, so this voltage will be impressed across this uh, inductors. As a result, so it will be, uh, current will flow in this way, so uh, as a result the 
uh, there will be in place voltage VL that is equal to LDI dt will be that is the uh, energy will be stored in the inductor okay so energy will start so in that case VL will be equal to VS so VL equal to how much this is L uh, di dt uh, that is equal to VS so uh, this is means di means uh, it is a change in the current that is a peak to peak current and dt means it is turn on uh, so this will be delta i by mm, mm, turn on into L so now delta i should be equal to how much so Vs by L into turn on okay so delta i we can we can uh, uh, rearrange it like this Vs by L uh, multiply the both numerator and denominator by T the chopping period so in that case uh, this will be D and uh, equation will be like this uh, uh, D uh, Vs uh, T means uh, 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 equal to 1 by F T equal to 1 by F so we we'll put here so T is the chopping frequency and so actually it will be D Vs by Z ok so let's this equation is 5 now when chopper is off when chopper is off what will happen chopper is off so it is uh, it is on so condition it is when it is off so this inductor will change a polarity and uh, the current will be flowing through this this directions okay. so uh, in that case this uh, gl should be equal to minus b o okay let's see so uh, see b o equal to minus b o uh, so we can write l d i d t should be equal to minus b zero and uh, uh, di equal to delta i and dt equal to turn off time so l delta i turn off so equal to minus b0 so delta i will be equal to uh, minus b0 turn off by l ok so if that is the case we can equate the both delta i for the equation 5 and 6 so what will happen so from equation 5 uh, we will get this is delta i delta i equal to d v s l f and here it is uh, uh, minus v o by l into t f so these two are equal so uh, d v s will be how much will be l will be cancel out it will minus v 0 t f into f so dvs equal to we, we, we can write uh, tf equal to uh, chopping period minus return on time so t minus tn by t again uh, this can be written as uh, this equal to uh, t by t1 minus tn by t so this uh, then tn by t is again equal to hd uh, that is v0 equal to minus dvs by 1 minus d so uh, uh, taking uh, magnitude only we, we get so v0 equal to uh, dvs by 1 minus uh, d ok now this d can varies from uh, 0 to 1 ok so when d equal to 0 this output voltage is 0 when d equal to 0.5 this uh, output voltage will be the source voltage and when d equal to 1 output voltage will be equal to uh, say uh, output voltage should be equal to your uh, infinity ok output voltage will be infinity clear so hence we you know, in the interval uh, d from 0 to 0 0.5 output voltage varies in the range of uh, uh, 0 to source voltage and, uh, and you know, we get step down or back operations and whereas in the interval uh, d equal to 0 0.5 and 1 uh, output voltage varies in the range of say uh, say vs2 that is source voltage to infinity so as a result we get uh, the step up or boost operations so that is why it is called uh, back boost uh, uh, step up clear then uh, bug boost uh, chopper so this uh, once again I am uh, repeating this uh, bug boost uh, chopper uh, 
uh, or step up or step down job or cup uh, converter so basically um, it is it is uh, the circuit is like this so with this circuit uh, of both uh, step down and step up uh, effect can be uh, affected so this is the circuit when chopper is on this is closed so no voltage across no current will flow to the load and as a result total uh, current uh, will flow uh, to the inductors and the inductor will be uh, inductor will be um, uh, charged so so uh, source voltage should be equal to the inductor voltage v is equal to vl and as a result uh, vl equal to l digt l di means uh, rate of change of current that is peak to peak uh, current and dt is the turn on period so from hence we can write uh, delta i equal to base by l into turn on so um, we can we can uh, with uh, with little uh, modifications of these equations we can write uh, this equation like this uh, delta i equal to dvs by lf so this is equation number five now when chopper is off so when chopper is off what will happen so this is off that means this is uh, already charged uh, fully charged it will check take change its polarity so uh, current will uh, so, so this is short circuited with this uh, diode and the current will flow in this way and this uh, output voltage should be equal to uh, say minus of this uh, VL or uh, VL equal to minus of zero mm -hmm. okay so this is chopper off so if we uh, write uh, here so V0 equal to uh, minus of VL so L di is equal to minus V0 that is L delta I by turn off so uh, di is uh, delta I and dt equal turn off so minus uh, V0 equal to this so delta I equal to minus V0 by L into turn off so if we equate these two equations for 4, 5 and uh, 6 so we have so this uh, dvs by lf should be equal to uh, minus v0 by l into turn off so if from this equation we can we can uh, find out the dvs equal to minus uh, say uh, v0 turn off into uh, f that is equal to frequency okay so because this one will be v0 uh, dvs equal to v0 f into f okay so dvs equal to uh, minus v0 uh, Tm means uh, T minus uh, turn on by T so uh, we can write so minus V0 1 minus uh, turn on by uh, T that is equal to uh, this is D so equal to um, how much uh, yes it is equal to dBs dBs into 1 minus T okay so if we neglect the magnitude this is sick uh, 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 sign so only if we take the magnitude only so v0 will be dvs by 1 minus d now d varies from uh, 0 to 1 and as a result when d equal to 0 output voltage equal to 0 when d equal to 0.5 output voltage equal to the source voltage and when d equal to 1 output voltage is infinity so that's uh, clear that uh, from uh, d that is duty cycle if it is from 0 to 0.5 uh, output voltage varies from uh, 0 to source voltage and we get the step down or back operations whereas in the interval uh, that is uh, 0.5 to 1 output voltage varies in the range so Vs to infinity so we get step up or boost operation so that's all about uh, this uh, back boost or uh, cup converter or step up step down uh, chopper so uh, we can uh, uh, today we have discussed uh, step up chopper its uh, applications and and uh, also we have discussed this uh, step up and step down chopper its operations and how uh, simultaneously uh, by varying uh, the duty cycle or uh, the value of d we can get a uh, step down as a uh, step up uh, uh, um, say um, chopper operations okay so uh, oh, that is the case uh, I think you have uh, understood it so I uh, once again I'm uh, say telling you suggest you uh, to go to the, your textbook 
and this after listening this video lectures if you have any problem uh, you will uh, contact me 